രാജേശ്വരി വെങ്കിട്ടരമണൻ ഇരുപത്തഞ്ച് എണ്ണം നൂറ്റി മുപ്പത് വാക്ക് സ്പീഡ് ഞാൻ അപ്ലോഡ് ചെയ്തു കഴിഞ്ഞു നിങ്ങളെല്ലാവരും നാലഞ്ച് പ്രാവശ്യം ഓരോന്നും പ്രാക്ടീസ് ചെയ്യണം ഔട്ട്ലൈൻ വായിക്കണം ഇംഗ്ലീഷിലേക്ക് തർജ്ജമ ചെയ്യണം ഓക്കെ നമുക്ക് തുടങ്ങാം വൺ ഓഫ് ദ കാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഓഫ് ദ റൂറൽ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ഇൻ ഡെവലപ്പിംഗ് കൺട്രീസ് ആൻഡ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർലി ഇൻ എ ഡെൻസ്ലി പോപ്പുലേറ്റഡ് കൺട്രി ലൈക്ക് ഇന്ത്യ ഈസ് മെയിൽ ഡോമിനേറ്റഡ് അഗ്രികൾച്ചറൽ ആക്ടിവിറ്റി ഓൾ ദി ഡിസിഷൻസ് ഓഫ് പ്ലാനിങ് ആൻഡ് എക്സിക്യൂഷൻ റസ്റ്റ് ആൾമോസ്റ്റ് എൻറ്റയർലി വിത്ത് ദ മെൻ ഈവൻ ദ പോസ്റ്റ് ഇൻഡിപെൻഡൻസ് ഇറ വെൻ ട്രമൻഡസ് എഫേഴ്സ് ഹാവ് ബീൻ മെയ്ഡ് ഫോർ ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ ഇൻ അവർ കൺട്രി ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ഓൾവേസ് ബീൻ ദ മെൻ ഹു ഹാവ് മോണോപ്പളൈസ് ദ ന്യൂ മെത്തേഡ്സ് while the rural women have not been encouraged to go to school beyond the elementary level or given the chance of joining courses of study in agriculture with the industrial development men who have been working with women in home industry have taken over to factory employment with large increases in wages and productivity and they have attained a higher status in society but the household industry itself could not stand competition from the organized sector and has over the time decayed gradually in many parts of india as a result of modernization men are getting formal education and training and using modern techniques of production of goods and services women in almost all the countries of the world are generally confronted with a discriminating attitude in varying degrees in matters of employment opportunities and working conditions this discrimination possibly emanates from a conservative view about their proper role in the rural society and from the situation of growing unemployment although the rural women have been participating in the economic occupation for the past 5 to 6 decades it is no secret that they are never allowed a free hand in work while the social order of our society built up over generations of administrative subjugation to the alien rulers has no doubt reduced women to the position of a liability and forced them to a life of unhealthy discrimination i for one cannot rest content by just blaming the old order for this deplorable <coughs> situation i think even after independence we have not given a serious consideration to the role of women as an important factor of economic production it is obvious that in our basic training we have always assigned to the women a role confined to the four walks of the home whether it is modernization or agriculture or introduction of scientific techniques or any other economic activity in the countryside it has always been the man who is considered fit for training or education and all of us in the last 25 years to raise work efficiency and competence have been directed towards men only i think it is this attitude of the planners and administrators of our rural development program which has done the greatest harm to the rural women unfortunately no specific line of thinking seems to have been adopted even in the reoriented approach to rural development for providing full and free scope to the rural women in the process of economic growth we have failed to conceive a proper role for the women in our efforts towards economic independence i think it is against this background that we have to think of the women's role in the integrated rural development the first and the foremost requirement is that we give up the age old ideology that women are meant only for work within the four walls of the house and that their domain lies in the child care and family welfare activities alone we must think of the women 
as equal partners in the economic development of our country and must pattern all our educational and training programs in such a way that the women are able to actively all follow their economic pursuits i am conscious that nothing short of a social upheaval 